Good morning. Thanks for joining us. Hey, I want to share a verse out of Psalm 139. If you're not familiar with Psalm 139, check it out. It is just one of the coolest psalms. I remember Michael W. Smith reciting the whole thing down at the Holiday Star Theater. Yeah, that was a long time ago. That theater's long gone. Psalm 139, verse 16. You saw me before I was born. Every day of my life was recorded in your book. Every moment was laid out before a single day had passed. It's a mysterious verse, right? But it means that from eternity past, God knew the way everything would go. He knew it all. Uh, but we don't know that. And so I want to share something I picked up from Jonathan Kahn in his book, The Book of Mysteries. And so the teacher takes him down to the Chamber of Scrolls and he shares this verse with him. And uh, so all of our days are written in God's book before they come to pass. But it doesn't mean they're predetermined. That's one of the mysteries. God tells us we have free will. So if he tells us we have free will, we do. We get to choose. He just happens to know because he's outside of time how it's all going to go. But in the Hebrew scriptures, the word for book is safer. And in the Greek of the New Testament scriptures, the word is biblion. Obviously where we get the word Bible from. So what exactly does Sefer and Biblion mean? Well, they refer to a scroll, a rolled parchment. God's book is a scroll. His book of days is a scroll of days. And the scroll holds the word of God, the will of God, the plans of God. So how does what, what's the significance of this? Well, I think it's pretty cool because if you take the knobs that are on the scroll and you begin to open it, you can see what's inside the scroll as it unrolls. At this, the teacher began unrolling and he says, so you can only see the fullness of God's plans for your life as they unfold, as the scroll unrolls. See, with a book, you can just go, I'm going to skip to the end. I, I have a, a friend, she used to be a youth leader way back in the day in the 90s. And if she was a little iffy on a novel or something, she'd read the end. Just want to see how it works. A scroll doesn't work that way. You can't just skip ahead. You can't just skip ahead. And you know what I was just thinking is that if we did skip ahead in our lives, so much of it wouldn't make any sense because if we didn't have the chapters before, all the words that connect that lead up to that. Like, I just try to imagine uh, having known Heidi for, for over 40 years that if, if somehow I got a vision into the future of the two of us married, I'd be like, well, how did that happen? And just really all the things that we're dealing with, like, how did I get to West Hills that's, that's kind of crazy, right? All these different things. But God wants us to do it one thing at a time. But here's the other thing, is that you've only got today before you. But we can choose to live today the best that we possibly can. And I think I mentioned it recently, my brother's got this sign in his office and says it's never too late to restart the day. So you reach lunchtime, it's like, oh, this has just been a terrible day. It's like, restart the day. Go ahead. Uh, no one's going to stop you from doing that. God's not going to. But the only way we can really understand what's later in the scroll is to live through the things that lead up to it. And we have a great deal of choice in how we respond, how we react, the things that we choose to do. None of us are in control of our circumstances. I was driving home the other night. And somebody kind of cut me off, and it's a good thing I was paying attention. And then a second person pulled right in the lane ahead of me. And I swerved, stuff flew all over my car. I, I honked way too late, but uh, someone kind of stopped in front of him. He just jumped in front of me. I didn't control what happened. I controlled how I reacted. I didn't say any bad words either. I didn't honk my horn, but I didn't say any bad words. Live today for the glory of God. Ask him for help today and trust him for tomorrow. But no matter what, because of the resurrection, however that scroll ends, that's when the real, the real life begins. And our future with God is better than anything that's ever been in our past or in our, our future here on earth. God bless you. Have a great week.